What do you want? Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Dig? Dig? Talk to me, brother. You know why I did it. First of all, I ain't your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Dave, come on, damn it! It wasn't personal. You gotta know that. There was no other way. Talk to Iron Mike, please. You tell him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. I'm gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Jake, you gotta listen to me, brother. What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Dick, I was just trying to stop Carlos. Stop the Rippers and keep this camp safe. This is our life, Dick. You know what? I think we're going to do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Dick! Dick! Damn it, listen to me, Dick. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry! I didn't want to do it, but I had to! And I didn't mean for it to go down this way! Dake! Listen to me! Dake! Hey, Deacon. Hey, boss. I don't even know where to start with this thing. I'll fill her up. I have no idea how to I'll be here if you need me. See you later, Deke. <sighs> this is gonna take hours. You think? You here to buy something? Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, you are looking fine today. Uh, good choice. Good one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. We had a couple of guys going out in West Virginia.
gotta get the deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How do I ever trust this asshole? Hello. Guess Skizza won't be needing this. Gotta go see Addy, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie? No, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. Addie. There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many died. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. <laughs> So Addy's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still saved Boozer's life. That's gotta account for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I don't forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? No. Cuts gets those throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't gonna stop, Rippers ain't gonna stop, and you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> Schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. 
Alright, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Part of a ride on some of those back roads. Jesse Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself, he's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. And we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there, 
and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. You're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. up here.
Holy shit! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Just wait a minute, was this already? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. Got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Looks like we're going on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'm gonna show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, Right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Ah, oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Zeke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Breaker.
Come on! Jesse. Oh yeah. It's time to finish what we started. Have these guys seem more jacked up than usual? Oh yeah. They must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. There's no way you're getting out there. <laughs> up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Hey, what's going on? Mm. Mm. That is 
clear to me now. Yeah, me too. Rest in peace, Jesse. It's done. Yeah, it's done. And I couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> It was good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Huh. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. So there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah. fuck out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. There probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shit storm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else Ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Gizzo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. 
Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Jesus, man. When the Rippers hit us, <laughs> I, I thought we were all goners. Yeah, see you, Deke. Deke! <laughs> hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers. All of them. I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna I stop me? Don't be society. such a stranger. Had a small office and a dog pen outside of sisters. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Do you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't know that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon! I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick! Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I... Get here. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down the Klamath State, visit Jack. Blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god, no, 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 listen, 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 you did great, you did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, <sighs> no, no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Just breathe, you're okay. Wait a second, what did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing, I just... Oh. Okay. No, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? 
No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do it again. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing uh, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was doing. Just do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. A couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, uh, a freaker nest. Female came out. What are you calling me? Say, John, this is O'Brien. Let me tell you. O'Brien, what do you got? I'm calling that for a reason. I need to see you in person. 
Had to run for Jesus our Christ. lives. Just, would you tell me what you found is ish? It's enough to give you nightmares. Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. Well, Brian. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. D. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him. I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you, um... The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about it. Davis is Tuck. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here. I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out. Thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. War on terror. Global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. advice cope is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off is that about it so jesus that's uh it's actually pretty good advice for once a little late but it's good advice so what the hell I managed to recruit a few guys who i trust to let me are happy with what's going on so why am i here i wanted to give you this you were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago, local militia group. A sugar. Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. 
bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. Or worse. Boozer! Booze man, come back! Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Well, just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. Said there was a... The trail that went around Mount Thielson, Mount um, Thielson, I don't know, something. Thielson, Thielson, yeah, that's it. Thielson Pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, you're on. Shit. You, you've talked to him? She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Hello, Brian. I don't give a shit about any of that. Boozer! Booze man, come back! Yeah, Dean. Got someone at the game. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we What's were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just yeah, listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles that so there was a, a trail that went around Mount Thiels, Mount Thiels, I don't know, something. Thielsen! Thielsen, yeah, that's it. Thielsen Pass. Yeah. You know a way over the Thielson Pass. You told me once that I... I... told you nothing. Go on! Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything that I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Yeah. Sherman's Go camp, on. the things that you... you get out of here! You listen, me, listen, me. listen to me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me. You don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer.
bunch of rippers. Okay, so what do you want to do? Holy Bruiser, shit. Bruiser, I... I... Uh -huh. huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was, every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to. But you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Uh, yeah, but I think the last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Yeah. We were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You can find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Your big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't, if I don't do this, well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Hey, you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here.
Okay, I'm following you. out here that time of year. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead?
If you're out there, 